words, okay, in a particular process, you first need to understand the nature of the process. Okay, so for example, we've been looking at um, the toss of a, of a coin, okay, three coins, and we found the probability, the random function and the probability distribution for the coin. Okay, but if we are to, uh, I mean, carefully observe the nature of that process, that's the tossing of the coin, we'll realize that it is a binomial word, distribution, okay? For three coins, we are talking about a binomial distribution, which means that we could have used what? The binomial process in modeling of finding the expectation of the process, the variance of the process, okay? And other properties concerning what? That particular process, okay? So every process, for example, you want to model the time it would take for a phone call to arrive in a particular shop, okay? That process follows a kind of distribution, okay? And then the time it takes for you to, uh, for the first bus to arrive, or the chance it takes for the first bus to even arrive at a place is a process, okay? So from genetic modeling to te telecommunications to queuing in the bank, okay, to so many examination, uh, performance and all that follow processes. Uh, and uh, there are so many types of empirical distributions or what we call a probability distributions, which are used to model these processes. But first you need to understand the attributes. You need to know the attributes of the process and know how to classify them. Okay, so key among these processes, we have a lot of them, but the key ones we'll be looking at in class will be yeah, so um, I think we'll pause here. What happens with this topic is, uh, I saw a chat. I think I saw a chat. Okay, but I'm not seeing it from there. Yeah, what happens on this topic is, once we get here, I ask the students to make presentations. Okay, at least on um, one uh, distribution, okay? So when you go to your notes on LIMAS, okay, this, we are now into statistical models, okay? We are looking at the statistical models and uh, as part of our objective, uh, we should know how to at least program the density function and to examine the distribution curve, okay, using a computer software at this point. Okay, so if you've um, if you have your MATLAB installed, that's very good. We'll be using it, God willing, next week. Um, if you don't have it installed, to make some arrangements, because in class next week, whilst we are touching on these topics, uh, we we're going to run some MATLAB outputs and then see how to interpret. Okay, the graphs for this probability models. So make arrangement for the MATLAB. Then uh, again, I will be assigning you to topics, okay? I will assign you to topics on, um, on the, the WhatsApp. I think that will be on the WhatsApp platform, okay? So I'll, I'll put you into groups and uh, assign you into into various topics which you're going to present on, okay? Now, if you're going to make a presentation, then it means that you have to submit your slides to me, okay, with an audio recording of your presentation before the class, so I can listen to it and then address your comment for you. Okay, so I'll wrap up um, the lecture for today here. But uh, Gabriel asked, we made a request that we should look at uh, the, he says, we should look at 
uh, how do we call it? The assignment. Yeah, I think the assignment. Okay. So we'll look at the assignment quickly and, uh, and continue. Yeah. Then saying so, I've seen a, a chat. Someone said that the video title is. Um, just a minute, please. What is this? Thing? Okay, somebody says the video title is um, 202, the audio keys breaking, and I'm not getting the audio right. I think with regards to the audio, uh, that will be the network issue. It always happens uh, sometimes. Okay, okay, that is from Gabriel. Gabriel, can you hear me better now? Yes, sir. It's now a little bit stable. Okay, so I want to upload the assignments. I think the assignment one. And uh, saying so, can you see the assignment on the screen? Yes, we can see it. Okay. So that say means that after I finish discussing, um, nobody will be allowed to submit. Okay. So whether you have an issue or leave us or not, uh, you cannot submit after discussion. Is there anybody with an issue on us? Okay. Now I, I haven't graded it. I didn't yet. get what you just said. I said, is there anybody with a problem with Lima? Yes. Uh -huh. So what I usually do at the beginning of the the term for the first three assignments, I wait a while. Okay, because by then people always have issues with limits. But once I've graded, once I grade an assignment, I can't allow anybody else. To sir, 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 I have a problem. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. What is the problem? What is the problem? Okay. So I, I, I uh, it was being yesterday. So today, happy to be my. Okay, so then let's make the decision for this um for this time next week. Eh? We're going to take it next week. So hopefully by next week, uh, those with challenge or limas. Okay, hopefully by next week you should submit your assignments. Because once we discuss or I grade. I will not allow you to submit assignment again. Take note of it. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So I think we'll wrap up today's class here. Gabriel is unfortunate. So we'll look at it next week. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Yo. On that note, we'll end today's class here. And uh, we'll meet next week. God willing. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your week and the weekend as well. Bye-bye.